You're probably tired of hearing from me this week as there's been many posts, but I had to make a video on this one because it cracked me up. I was going through the Colonel Lore email list and came across a wild one from Linus Torvalds himself. We can see that this is a reply from Linus on the DRM for Linux Kernel 6.15, the RC1 release. Seemingly, Linus is not too happy quoting crap that was sent in as a pull request. Let's read through this one and get Linus's take on this DRM pull request as he expressed a lot of frustration and unnecessary tests that slow down builds and leaves unwanted files in the source tree. Again, not happy about this one. And he goes on to say he plans on marking this one as broken and recommends making the test an optional one that's manually triggered. Anyways, the reply is to Dave here. This is the main DRM pull request for 6.15. Bit late, but my wife was away getting a PhD and the kids took over my writing summaries time and FD.O was offline last week, which slowed me down a small bit. And here we have Linus's reply. Grr, I did the pull, resolved the trivial conflicts, but I noticed that this ended up containing the disgusting HDR test crap that A, slows down the build because it's done for a regular all mod config build rather than some simple thing that you guys can run as needed. B, also leaves random HDR test turds around in the include directories. An interesting word to use here. And the mention here is, is that A, this test is running unnecessarily, which in turn wastes time during the build process and slows down the overall build. And B, the files are not being cleaned up properly. So that's another thing that really irks Linus here as he really doesn't like making source directories messy. Continuing on, People already complained separately about this. It should never have made it to me in this broken form. Why the heck is this testing being done as a regular part of the build? And he really doubles down with, and damn it, we don't add random turd files for dependencies that make the source tree nasty. He goes on to why it makes things nasty. But before we get on to that, take a moment and subscribe below. You wouldn't want to miss videos like this. YouTube can get finicky. And also take a moment to like the video so more people can see the content. Moving on, the thing that made me notice that it was still there was that git status complains about the stupid turds not being ignored. That's definitely a funny way to figure things out as pretty obvious if you run the simple git status command and start seeing the unnecessary inclusion of what Linus calls here stupid turds. Well we start to see what the gripe is here. But more importantly, these turds also break file completion. So no, adding it to git ignore does not actually fix the problem. It would just have made me not notice it as quickly. This thing needs to die, <laughs> which is a wild one. As Linus is really known for his sensational takes on things, with this statement being a little bit drama filled, but still hilarious to read. But this is all in good faith as Linus has a very strong passion for quality of code. So QC, we're going to call that quality code, not quality check. His deep commitment to maintaining the Linux kernel and keeping the quality and integrity. So when he sees something that doesn't meet his high standards or violates good practices, he does not hold back criticism, as you can see here in this response to the pull request. And I think we all want this. Not only do we want his candid responses, but it sets a tone for accountability. Even though sometimes the bluntness here can be intimidating, I quite find it funny, as clearly Linus does not shy away from being confrontational. Let's continue on. If you want to do that HDR test thing, do it as part of your own checks. Don't make everyone else see that disgusting thing and have those turds in their trees. I'll just disable it by marking it broken for now. You guys can figure out what you want to do but no forcing others to see those things is not the answer. I would suggest you not make this part of the K config setup and normal build at all, but be something where you can run it as a part of your tests, i.e. do it as a make DRM HDR test kind of thing 
not as part of the regular builds. Signed off, Linus. All in all, Linus here is urging maintainers to run the workflow privately and as a separate test rather than trying to put it in the development tree. It all makes sense. He's just trying to keep things clean. So it's quite amusing as the criticism runs pretty deep in this one. And I wanted to read through it as I found it a little bit amusing. Let me know what your thoughts are and how Linus handles these types of interactions as I think people can criticize him for his communication style being harsh at times. I personally do not believe so, but again, let me hear from you in the comments section below. I think it's a big part of his persona, well known for being blunt and giving us criticism where necessary. Don't forget to take a moment to subscribe below. You made it to the end of the video. You're a true fan. Also, smash that like button for me. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another one. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.